Welcome to the channel, this is Gizmo Spaz, and today we are reviewing the chic world of Nintendo Wave 1-5 Jax Pacific action figure. Now, Sheik is the only figure that's not Mario related in this wave. And as you can see here, she's got a little harp. Uh, I guess in the beginning, nobody knew if Sheik was male or female, but it was revealed that Sheik is Princess Zelda in disguise, I guess. Making Sheik a, a rare female character in the line. So far, we've only had, uh, let's see, Samus Aran, two different Samuses. And a Princess Peach. I'm hoping we'll get a regular Princess Zelda in the near future. As well as there are some, uh, there's got to be some other male, female characters in the uh, in the Nintendo universe, the Nintendo verse, as I uh, just now decided I like to call it, the Nintendo verse or the Mario verse or all the other universes. I'd like to see Dixie Kong from the Donkey Kong line. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Palatina. Uh, and, uh, for that matter, I'd love to see a pit figure. I'd also like to see who else, who else, what are the other female characters that we'd like to see? Is there any female characters in Star Fox? You know what? They need to release some Animal Crossing action figures. Everybody wants, uh, Isabel. Isabel. It's all Isabel. And her little brother Digby, or her twin brother Digby. Now, uh, we'll get to it in a little bit, but Sheik has 13 points of articulation at four and a quarter inches tall. So, uh, not quite as tall as Waluigi, even though he doesn't really take advantage of his height the way his knees are. But we're not talking about him right now. We are talking about Sheik. Let's go. I remember uh, when I was a kid watching wrestling, and uh, we had the Iron Sheik. Now, this is nothing, no relation at all. To the Iron Sheik, the, uh, the villain of the WWF, as it was known when I was a kid. Uh, now it's, is it still the WWE, or did they change back to the WWF? I don't know. But let's see, we're going to use Cuddy again to get Sheik out of there. Uh, we're missing all the action, so I am zooming out a little. Come on, let's get Sheik out of there. Don't, don't cut anything. There we go. There's Cuddy. Hey, Cuddy. Cuddy hasn't been on screen in a while. Cuddy wants to be on screen. As you can see, Cuddy's starting to wear a little thin again. I'm going to have to redraw Cuddy. <laughs> anyway, that's enough out of me. Let's get back to Sheik. I think my phone keeps vibrating. Silly phone, what are you doing? Oh, I just got some uh, notifications. Oh, my upload is complete. Yay! I uploaded a special video. This one is scheduled, so the video I just uploaded, you will be seeing on uh, the Revenge of the Fifth. The Revenge of the Sith on the uh, May 5th, the day after Cinco de Mayo. The uh, May the 4th be with you. The Revenge of the Fifth, Cinco de Mayo, 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 I don't know. Anyway, uh, here's Sheik, and you can't see her at all. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll review that part later. But here is Sheik. Sheik is very small in stature. Sheik has the same posable ankles as Link did, which is cool. Oh, wait, let me see. Is this the Sheik box? The Sheik comes from which game? It is the Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. Ocarina of Time 3D. That's where Sheik comes from. Anyways, back to Sheik. Here is Sheik. You can only see one eye. The head is on a just one little joint there. Doesn't it's got a full range of movement, but only in one direction, side to side. We got uh, shoulders here, double jointed. And we got uh, elbows, and the hands are on a double joint. Look at that! Look at that one. Boom! Look at that. Double jointed hands. They twist. They twist all the way around. And then they flex at the wrist. Look at that. Okay, that's cool. Chic. And uh, I'm assuming it's like that on both sides. And then uh, this is a separate piece all its own. Look at that. 
There we go. You see bandages all wrapped around the uh, torso there. I'm assuming that's just like the uh, the video or the the game. Sorry, I'm distracting myself. Okay, we got hips that do not move very far. They are on a ball joint, so do that a little, but they're not that poseable. And then here we got knees that honestly don't flex even 90 degrees. A little disappointing, but more so than Link because he's got that darn tunic that goes down to, I don't know, right above the knee. So that makes his legs barely move at all. So already she has considerably more posability. And like I said, the ankles have the, uh, the bending there and the twisting. So all in all, it's a pretty good figure. We are supposed to have 13 points of articulation, so let's give our countdown. One, two, three. We'll double them for that. Four, five, six, seven. Then we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now a couple of those I would count as double joints, but uh, we're not going to get into an argument. So here's Sheik. Now let us see how well Sheik stands on her own. Now when I first got her out of the box, I was trying to make her stand on her own and it did not want to go very well. The joints on the hips are a little loose, so I do have to be careful. You push down a little and they just, they totally move on their own, like that. So, it's got very slippery feet. Uh, decent posability, I do like it. Um, her hands don't really have any grip for the little, little harp that she's got. Let's look, take a good look at the harp now. Here we go, uh, there. Okay, so it's that's a solid piece. There's no, you can't see through it or anything. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that's not painted. That's actually molded in on both sides. And then we have, I guess that's where she holds the harp. I'm probably going to have to hang it on her off of her hand from there, from these little hooks. I'll uh, I'll try that in, in the video before we uh, before we call it a night, before we call it a day, an afternoon, a morning, whatever. I don't know when I'm recording, neither do you. That's the trick. Ooh. Anyway, let's uh, bring Sheik in here and see if uh, we can't get her to hold this harp. So let's let's clip it on the hand right here. That's pretty good. Okay, and then I can have her bring it in, and then she can play the harp. Uh, there we go. I really wish she got some sort of other like an actual weapon or something. I'm not sure what, if anything, she wielded in the game. But there's Sheik, a.k.a. Princess Zelda. In all of her true glory, we'll put her down here with the rest of Wave 5 of our world of Nintendo. Uh, what are we going to do next, people? I know what we're going to do, but I'm not going to tell you. I want it to be a big surprise. I've been... Uh, I have one thing to show you before I get to the things I've really, really, really been waiting for. And I know I've given you a sneak peek of them a few times, but we're actually going to delve into them, at least until the next wave of Jack Pacific comes out, because I am really digging these. They're inexpensive, they're fun, they look great. Props, Jax. I love you. Jax is awesome. Jack Pacific. Keep making these. Keep making these. I'm gonna keep buying them. Okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe someday they'll uh, they'll send me they'll send me some freebies, right? Come on, Jax, hook me up. Anyway, here we go. This is a uh, full Wave Five crew right there. We got Gold Mario, Cat Luigi, Baby Bowser Jr. We got Waluigi and all of his pain and torment, and Sheik, Sheik, A.K.A. Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and I don't know the rest of her names. I know that, uh, is Zelda her first name or her last name? Is she, like, the Princess Zelda, or is her name Zelda something? I, I, I probably should know that. I haven't, uh, played the games in a while, so I'm not sure of all of the, uh, everything that goes into that. 
So anyway, well, here we go. Happy hunting. Enjoy. Be nice to people. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. And uh, goodbye.